There's a hundred and four days of self-isolation. <laughs> It's your second favourite sentient mattress here, and it has been a few months since I last uploaded a video, and well, ages since I last did an update video of this sort. And there is a reason why I'm doing it. Long story short, I'm just touching base with you guys to let you know that I am really sorry that I haven't put anything out these last few months, and just to let you know that I am, in fact, still writing new content. It's just I've had a load of distractions, I've had loads of motivational issues, and I just felt like it would be a good idea to touch base like this and explain what's been going on in my life. So first off, when I back when I posted the um, remake of Yakko's World and hit my 10,000 subscriber mark, uh, that was amidst my university finals. So I was torn away by those and I was really busy with them and yeah, it was generally a stressful time. Uh, following that was even more stress because um, I at that point, really did not know what I wanted to do with my life. I was still thinking over my career options, and in the meantime, I was trying to find some kind of interim employment. I was looking into things like, you know, retail and anything around here, and got absolutely nothing, because, you know, I live in an area where there's just no job demand whatsoever. So yeah, that was a whole waste of time. And um, eventually I did settle on a career path. I've decided to become a teacher. Which means that, unfortunately, my upload schedule is going to be quite slow, but stuff is going to keep coming. As I've said, I have got stuff in the works and I'll explain that later. But during that time, I've also had a whole load of motivational hits. I've had, you know, I've had COVID-19 cabin fever, I've had various existential crises, I've had depression, you know, arising from that. My inferiority complex has flared up again as of late. And, yeah, that's just... All of those have just been big hits on my motivation. And it's been quite hard to write sometimes. But as I've said, and as I promised, I do have three videos in the pipe, and I'm going to explain what they are now. Uh, the first one is, of course, all the inaccuracies in Hamilton. That is still happening. The second thing is... A lot of you guys seem to have requested that I do the Phineas and Ferb intro for an All the Inaccuracies episode. Um... I did have a look at the Phineas and Ferb intro, and it turns out there's actually only a couple of inaccuracies in it at all. But I did come up with another idea, and it spawned an idea for a new series called Dupe Does the Math. So what I'm going to be doing in the first episode of that series is going through the Phineas and Ferb intro, the extended version, and just sort of trying to quantify how much time it would actually take to do everything they say they could do over the summer during the intro. Just thought that might be a nice idea, just sort of in keeping with the theme of my channel, which is like, stuff that makes you think. That's the sort of theme I want to go on, in case I run out of ideas for all the inaccuracy stuff. Now the third idea, it's um, sort of a character analysis of an old kids show my sister used to watch. Namely, a character analysis of the title character, who I personally believe, and who my sister personally believes, is a very bad role model for kids. So I figured I would give that a bit of an analysis and see if you guys liked it. And if not, well, hey-ho, if you do, I'll keep making them. Aside from those, though, I do have an idea I've been tumbling in my head as well. Um, namely, I, I've tried streaming video games a couple of times and I just don't think I've got the personality for it. I just don't have the sort of laughable or easily irritated personality that you need really to stream. And so what I figured I might do instead is rather than try and do the whole laughy, weirdy, angry kind of game streaming, personality kind of game streaming, I figured I might try a different kind of thing. I figured I might try um, playing sort of thought-provoking or particularly artistic games and doing a bit of sort of commentary over them, talking about their sort of their themes, like their artistic sort of merit, like doing a bit of amateur philosophy over the top of it. Um, if that sounds like the sort of thing that would be interesting to you guys, do feel free to leave a comment. So that's basically everything I had to say. So I just I just want to say before I sign off, thank you guys so much for staying with me. And thank everyone who watches this video for, you know, putting up with my lack of prolificness. And honestly, I sincerely hope that when I do put out new stuff that you guys love it. So anyway, again, thank you guys for hearing me out. Thanks for listening. And thank you very much for staying subscribed. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.
Until next time, ta-ta!